double digit value. <laughs> What's up guys? We are on our way to the shop and we have something very cool that's going on today. Uh, as you saw in the clips before, uh, we have started tearing down a motor for a turbo build. Um, we're hoping to have this thing done within the next few weeks or possibly by the first of the month of February. We're on our way to the shop now to start putting the bottom end back together. Uh, we had everything disassembled. Put it in the parts washer, got everything cleaned up. My dad's been working at the shop today getting everything else cleaned up such as the pistons and the rods and everything. So I'm on my way to go help him put the bottom end back together. This build is going to be made up of a bunch of different components from different engines. Uh, basically going to be a 3.1 stroker build with a turbo. How we're going to achieve that is we're going to use the 2.8 block out of an M52. We're going to use the 3.2 liter crankshaft, which is out of an S52. We're going to use the S52 piston rods, and then we're going to use M54 pistons. And the reason why we use the M54 pistons is because whenever we change the crank and the rods to the S52 crank and rods, it's going to have more travel, more stroke. So. We're going to have to have a piston that sits a little lower in the wall so that it doesn't A, strike the cylinder head, and B, uh, so that it doesn't have as much compression. It's going to be a really cool build. Uh, that, that was what the bottom end is going to be comprised of. The top end is just going to be an M52 head uh, stock valve train with um, S52 cams. So the only thing we're doing on the top end is S52 cams. I've uh, been waiting on this for a long time and my dad and I finally decided to pull the trigger on it and start doing it since I'm going to try and compete this year. I figured we need more power so. After talking to TRM Tuning who actually is the one who built the motor that this turbo kit came off of, it was pushing between six and 700 horsepower. I don't know the exact numbers, but that's what it was designed to do. What we are doing with it is not as much of a build because we're not doing forged internals completely. We're just doing the Eagle rods. But I've talked to them and I've told them kind of what I'm doing and what I'm looking at achieving as far as power goes. And I told them anywhere between 400 and 500 horsepower. So they said what I'm doing should handle that no problem as long as I add ARP head bolts and also the Kometic MLS gasket. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use ARP head bolts, which we already have, and then we're going to use a Kometic head gasket. It's going to be a little bit thicker than stock so that we can lower the compression a little bit so we don't blow the top end off the motor. The only other thing that we have to do. Um, Parts wise is order the head gasket which we will do soon and then I'm waiting on my chip to come back from TRM tuning. Um, the chip that we had had a couple broken prongs. I wanted to see if they could also finagle with mapping a little bit to kind of give me a base tune for exactly what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully they can send that back within the week and we can go ahead and put that in and, and get all of that squared away. As far as the top end goes, I'd say we probably won't get to that until maybe the end of the week or maybe next week. So I'll also do a video on that one. We do have bad news. Uh, when we ordered the piston rings, we accidentally only ordered four sets. So we're only going to be able to put four pistons in tonight. So we're not going to be completely done with the bottom end. But we'll have most of the work done. Um, you know, we got all the timing chain rails and all of that stuff, so we can go ahead and put all that on. And the only thing we'll have left to do once those rings come in is just put two more pistons in there, uh, button that up, and then put the oil pan on, um, as well as the oil pump and all that. So he'll probably end up doing that without me honestly um, just because he's just as eager to build this motor as i am so we're gonna go ahead and go to the shop and uh, i'll give you all an update when we get there 
All right, y'all, so we're here at the shop, and I'm gonna just go over some parts with you guys of what we got here, so. My dad went ahead and painted the block for me, uh, so it's all painted nice and black, and we got some, a little bit more cleaning to do, but not much. Then we have covers, pulleys, the four pistons that we're putting in, along with our ARP head bolts. And nuts to go with them. Our new chain guides. This is our S52 crank that we're going to be putting in it. And we have our rod bearings and our oil pan gasket. We're going to go ahead and put all this stuff together. We've got the bearings all inserted to their proper places now. They're clean and we're going to use this Permatex Ultra Slick engine assembly lube to uh, lube all the bearings. got the crank in. Uh, we've got everything just kind of snug right now. Um, my dad's gone to look up the torque specs to make sure we get everything right. Uh, and then we're going to start torquing the crank down and then we can go from there. As you can see, we've got everything lubed up. we got it all kind of tightened down. And now it's time to torque them down. So the torque specs for this is going to be 18 foot-pounds and 70 degrees after the 18 foot-pounds. So now that we've got all of these bolts tightened, we're gonna tighten them another 70 degrees and then it'll be all finished up. For the rod bearings, we went with Glyco rod bearings. Uh, these are what they recommended for OEM rod bearings. So these are what we're gonna put in them. Now we're gonna start piecing the pistons and rods together before we put them in.
So after we've got four of them in, this is the aftermath. Unfortunately, the phone has to stop here to put pistons in. So we did only get four sets of rings, um, but we'll go ahead and torque these down. Let the torquing begin. Well, we've come as far as we could on this one. Um, I guess it's going to get finished up tomorrow. Uh, I think the rings will be here tomorrow morning. And he'll be able to put the other two pistons in and finish the bottom in. We've got four of the pistons in, torqued, ready to go. Went ahead and put the timing cover on. Uh, got the chains in there and the guides. What he'll be doing tomorrow is putting these two pistons in, putting this cover over the pistons or over the rods, putting the oil pump on and the oil pan, and then we'll be ready to start on the top end. Not sure how well you can see me, but we are on our way back to the east side of town. Uh, we did get everything done that we could have gotten done tonight. Like I said, the only thing he's got to do tomorrow is put those other two pistons in, put the oil pump on, and the oil pan, and then we'll be ready to start the top end. I do have to order a Kometic MLS head gasket. So uh, once I get that order and it comes in, then we'll go ahead and start the top end. I'll also do a video on it, just so you guys can kind of keep an update on the build. I will probably be coming out with another video soon of some cage prep. Uh, that is definitely one of the things that I'm really eager to get done is the cage. Uh, I think it's next on my list once we get the motor in and, and get it running right. Uh, we're going to have to put a cage in the car so I can compete this year. Um, so I'm going to have to go in and rip the headliner out and figure out what I'm going to do with the sunroof. I haven't really figured out what I want to do with it yet. but. Whenever we get there, I'll, I'll definitely be videoing that for you. I'm um, really, really happy that, that uh, we got to work on it tonight. And uh, thank my dad for helping me with this build. I'm sure he'd rather be doing other things at night than, than helping me build a car before a deadline. So hoping the car runs great when we get it all done, which I'm positive it will once we get a, a good tune on it. Um, so anyway. On my way to Terry's house to go spend some time with my lovely fiance, and we are going to eat lasagna tonight. Her mom made some lasagna for us, so really excited about that. I'm starving, but I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Many more updates to come. We've got the top end, we've got the cage, we've got all kinds of stuff. This season's gonna be great. Competition season for me. Uh, sorry about the low light quality in that last portion. I want to do whatever I can to adjust that whenever I edit this video, but uh, Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Uh, just keep calm and drift on